I want you to show me what you really eat every day. So first of all, I start off my morning with coffee. Everybody likes coffee, but I'll add coconut oil and butter, blend it up, it tastes delicious. It's actually really filling, and that'll last me a couple hours. And then, okay, that, that's all you have for breakfast? Coffee with butter in it? Coffee with butter and coconut oil blended up. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually really filling. The fat will definitely keep you satiated throughout the day. And that's why it lasts me until noon. You put, put some bacon bits in it. You'll make you happy. <laughs> all right, could be a new thing. <laughs> I seem to be missing the humor and adding mutilated parts of a tortured pig to your already overly saturated fatty dumb coffee. Yeah, because that looks absolutely delicious, you brainwashed negligent slime ball. That's directed to the both of them, Dr. Oz and Drew Manning, but more so to Drew Manning because this pansy has yet to refute any of my arguments and honestly, let's just face the truth. The guy's probably just trying to make some money and could really give two shits about your health or anyone else's health or the needless suffering and death of animals for that matter. You're just picking on him, you- <laughs> You're damn straight I am. I can't help but call out a bullshit artist when I see one and when I see dishonesty, especially within the profession that I am involved in, I feel obligated to do so. If he's such a good guy and he's got everyone's best interests at heart, then why not refute me or anyone else and actually prove that I am the bad guy? Why won't he do this? I'll tell you why. He just wants to make money by selling a product that is not necessary to lose body fat. If he wasn't so dishonest, then he wouldn't be so negligent towards the actual science and he would be promoting an actual healthy, sustainable lifestyle, not this crash diet scam that will compromise your health in the long term and which, by the way, is not sustainable even if you call it a lifestyle. Show me one 60-year-old keto person, just one, who has been doing this for decades and who happens to have healthy blood work and isn't at an increased risk of disease or cancer doesn't exist. This is a clear way of how to not diet, hence the title of this video. That being said, it is very common for people to subscribe to a quick and easy fix towards unfucking years of abuse they have done to their bodies and in this case, through the promotion of a diet that steals some of the worst parts of the standard American diet, which by the way, originally contributed to getting these people fat and sick in the first place. Have you lost your damn mind? <laughs> so we've already seen what Drew Manning recommends this poor woman eats on this keto diet trend shit for breakfast. Loads of cholesterol and saturated fat. Yeah! All right, heart attacks all day. All aboard the Heart Attack Express chain. Please sit down, fasten your seatbelts, and don't mind that angina pain in your chest because it's only a normal occurrence when you've been scammed and it will only continue to occur if you continue to follow this bullcrap. What else you got, professor? Then for, for lunch? So I, I wait until my body tells me I'm hungry, which is usually around lunchtime. So a couple eggs, spinach, saute that in some butter, you know, add a slice of bacon, half of an avocado. Bacon. Right? You love bacon, bacon eggs, yeah. avocado, right? Everybody loves that. Yeah. I used to love eggs as well too, Drew, till I saw the science, and till I saw this atrocity as well, bro. But I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings because reality may be too much of an extreme. So let's keep reality tucked away in a corner and ignore the fact that this shit is not necessary. That being said, what else do you have, bro? Okay, and then dinner. And the dinner Bacon cheeseburger. More enough, bacon. enough said. <laughs> this is a typical one. I mean, you don't have to have bacon every meal, but what I'm saying is uh, the, the fattier cut of meat, the cheese, the bacon, and the avocado is all low carb, right? High fat, moderate amount of protein. So you worry more about the bun than the burger. Totally. Did you just hear that? So you worry more about the bun than the burger. Totally. 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 That cancer, though, bro. As I've stated before, Bacon is a type of processed meat, which is a group one carcinogen. But that's okay because carbs are apparently worse than foods that cause cancer. By no means 
Am I saying that processed bread that is filled with preservatives is a healthy choice for a person to make in regards to eating? But for the sake of this argument, let's just say a whole wheat bun is apparently worse than a bacon cheeseburger, according to the professor. Let that sink in. Okay, so let's move forward and let's put all these meals into chronometer so we can have a better perspective of Drew's ketogenic diet meal plan. So I've entered all the foods Drew mentioned in the Dr. Ah show and the total amount of calories for this diet plan is about 1,312 calories. I was conservative with inputting the quantities of what he stated in regards to the coconut oil, butter, and nuts since he did not specify quantity, but Drew is definitely consuming more calories in this. There's no way he can sustain himself at this low amount of calories, so he's definitely loading up on the butter, coconut oil, nuts, or something else because a man of his size will easily need upwards of 3,000 calories or so if he's doing any type of activity at all. But let's also look at the amount of cholesterol he's consuming while following this diet. It's a whopping 501 milligrams of cholesterol for just 1,300 calories. Remember folks, the recommended daily amount of dietary cholesterol, according to science, is zero. And he's already over 500 times that amount following this ridiculous diet. But all right, maybe the micronutrients are on point, so let's check on chronometer to see if the micronutrients are at least half decent. So if we look at the micronutrients of this restrictive keto diet nonsense, we can clearly see that there isn't much vitamin C and vitamin E in this meal plan, two very important antioxidants that help with protecting cells and free radical damage, which would probably be important since that bacon is a group one carcinogen and due to its carcinogenic load of nitrosamines and nitrosamides, similar to the carcinogens found in cigarettes, which in of itself causes cancer, would probably be a good idea if you were to load up on the antioxidants to fight off all those carcinogens that you're putting into your body through dietary habits. Additionally, cooking animal flesh, as Drew Manning is so proud of consuming, is known to create heterocyclic amines, short for HCAs, which are known as cancer-producing substances due to their mutagenic nature, which causes damage to DNA and increases cancer risk. And of course, let's not forget the high amounts of saturated fat, dietary cholesterol, and pretty much all the foods that Drew Manning has shown for his little keto diet meal plan on the Dr. Oz show. This is a topic that has been covered ad nauseum. Dietary saturated fat and dietary cholesterol raise LDL cholesterol. Anything above 70 milligrams per deciliter puts you at risk for atherosclerosis. Higher LDL cholesterol equals more atherosclerosis. More atherosclerosis equals more heart disease, more brain disease, more back pain, and of course, most important, most importantly, more erectile dysfunction. Yes, that's correct. Atherosclerosis doesn't just cause heart disease, it also kills boners too. Homeboy is against Boner. I'm not making this up. It's science. So it doesn't matter how much he wants to shove that hypothetically financially driven docile phallus of his into the hypothetical ass of every hypothetical person that wants to give it to him for $37 for a shitty meal plan. Because even in imaginary worlds, atherosclerosis kills boners no matter how much he's willing to screw people over. So this diet promotes cancer, coronary artery disease, and limp penises. You know, back in my Marine Corps days, we had people like this in the Corps. We called them Blue Falcons. But Drew's kind of like a double whammy. You know, he's a professor, seems like he's fitting that role professor and Blue Falcon at the same time. It's a, it's a special guy. Gonna have to address the ladies on this at least once since the men who are following this way of how not to diet are suffering the most. Ladies, do you want your hubby to not be able to pull a chubby? Or do you want your hubby to feel like he's grown a third leg because his vascular anatomy system provides endless blood flow to his most treasured body part because he dumped this keto shit and went on a whole foods plant-based lifestyle? You don't have to answer. I know what you love. 
and need. Fortunately, I'm here to save your hubby by telling you and him to not do this keto shit. Don't fall for salesmen, <coughs> excuse me, I mean trainers like Drew Manning who are not willing to acknowledge science and have a biased point of view towards trending diet plans and that ultimately get you sick and impotent. And to end it on this final note, losing body fat only requires you to be in a caloric deficit. The keto diet is not necessary to accomplish this. This diet is horrible for your life even if it's vegan keto, so spare yourself of this nonsense and just eat more delicious plants, less processed foods, and no animal products because it's bad for you and it's cruel. This way, you'll be on your way to a wonderful, long, healthy, sustainable lifestyle that is best suited for your physiologic makeup. So I hope this helps, and you know I'm only wishing you the best. That being the case, if you could please reciprocate, and please do your boy a favor, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, Make sure to subscribe so I can keep you updated on the weekly. I'm the Natural Hulk, so I want to thank you for watching. And please, stay tuned for the next one. Hey, Drew, still waiting for that response, bro.